So there was just a special election in Texas in the Rio Grande Valley, and a Republican won it for the first time since 1871. And the question is, why? And the answer seems to be pretty clear, border security. So for most Americans, no matter what they look like, what language they speak, no matter what party they belong to, what's happening at our border is an atrocity. Yesley Vega is a person who feels that way. She was born to Salvadoran immigrants. She went on to become a law enforcement officer in Virginia. She's now running for Congress in that state. She joins us tonight. Yesley Vega, thanks for coming on tonight. Really appreciate it. Um, tell us, it, it's interesting. I mean, your candidacy makes sense, I think, to people who've been following this, to a lot of people. They're confused. Tell us why you're moved to run for Congress. Well, Tucker, it's a pleasure to be with you on tonight. You know, I became a police officer because of an incident uh, that almost took the life of my younger brother. Uh, he was viciously gunned down and nearly killed by MS-13 savages. So when I talk about the border crisis, when I talk about crimes in our communities, for me, it absolutely is personal. I've been on the front lines as a law enforcement officer, and I've seen things that I never thought I would see, from the demonizing of the brave men and women in law enforcement, the cursing in public spaces. I mean, it's Unbelievable, and all of this has been brought to the American people on a silver platter uh, by Joe Biden and his Democrat allies to include Abigail Spanberger. What's so interesting in your state, specifically Virginia, there was a governor's race two cycles ago in which the Republican brought up the question of MS-13, and Nancy Pelosi leapt into that race, and so did the entire Democratic Party, to make the point that, no, Salvadorans love MS-13. How dare you criticize that? As someone whose family is from El Salvador, how do you respond to that? Well, that's another ignorant uh, comment coming out of Nancy Pelosi's mouth, and the American people are sick and tired. I would challenge her to come and sit down and speak to my parents what it was like uh, to wait for surgeons to come out of the uh, operating room to let us know whether or not my brother was going to survive that vicious attack. I will share with you, Tucker, that his best friend died at the age of 15 as a result of that gang initiation process. I grew up in a community where I saw MS-13 gang members trying to recruit elementary age children, and this is why I'm so passionate. This is why I'm running for office, because it's now or never. This is not the America that we know. This is not the America that we so very much love. And it's time that we stand up to the radical left and put an end to the chaos that they have caused. Amen. It really feels talking to you like things are changing. Do you get that sense? Oh, they absolutely are. I had the privilege of serving as the chairwoman for the Latinos for Yunkin Coalition this past November, where we proudly delivered 54 percent of the Hispanic vote. That was historic for any Republican in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And I'm excited. We just wrapped up two rallies with Senator Ted Cruz. The momentum is on our side. We have a primary tomorrow. Uh, folks can visit our website at yeslyvega.com to find out where to vote and to continue to support our efforts to be that firewall that this incompetent president, with his incompetent administration, administration so desperately needs. I'm fired up, and folks are so excited to turn things around, and we will right this ship. Amen. I can tell you mean it, too. Yezzy Vega, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.